bullshit, bullshit. Do a little bit of a joke. Gonzalo Nasu never got called up. Pedro Gonzalez never got called up. What's going on with the sporting hate here, man? Gonzalo Inacio. He never even got picked. Not only for the national team, he didn't even make the U21 team. The U21 team. This guy's uh, already been championship. He already won the league. He's got four trophies under his belt. Started the last three years, every single game. Top center back. And they go and call. And then this is just to make a statement. I'm going to go back to U21. We didn't show the U21, but I'm going to go back to the U21 team. Eduardo Quaresma, and he's a sporting prospect. Didn't make the team. Got loaned out to Tondela, a team that finished bottom of the table. Didn't make Tondela's lineup. He was a sub on Tondela. Got loaned out again, and they called him over at Gonzalo Nasi. I do not know what's going on. I do not know the beef they have with this. But, I mean, for the first time in a long time, no sporting players got called up. So I don't know if this is the Verandas hate, what's going on with Pinta Costa. Because I know for the sense, I mean, this is the conspiracy mind. I'm not saying this is factual, but I don't know if Pinta Costa and him are boys and it's like a shot at sporting. But for me, that was the biggest absence that really bothered me was Gonzalo Nas. Pedro Gonzalez should be there in my opinion, but it wasn't as much of a slap in the face because we do have so much talent there. I mean, you can justify those other cops. But for me, I don't know what you think, Mitch. That was a huge slap in the face to him. Adam, did you pull up um, Sanchon Confrat today? <clears throat> so let me just read this for a sec. So this was from the Conferência de Imprensa that uh, Fernando Santos did when he announced the Confrat. He said, Podiam estar aqui muitos nomes. Antonio Silva, Florentin, Pot, Trincão. So he's got two sporting players there. But you know what stands out to me? Sorry to interrupt you. You see how he has Antonio Silva there? And I know he's going to be a great player. Sure, I know yeah. he's a great that's player. Exactly, no hate against that's exactly him. exactly where I was going, man. He's played four games for Bifica. Yeah. He doesn't mention Inácio. Yeah. To me, that's the biggest ausência is Inácio. And he, when he's talking about whose nomes could be last star, he doesn't bring up Gonçalo Inácio. I'm, I'm mind blasted as to why this kid is not being called up. I don't know the reason. Um, you know, Sporting obviously is not playing very well in the league. They're playing well in Champions League. There's a ton of quality players there on that side. Um, I mean, I guess, you you know, to play devil's advocate, you could say, okay, well, if you want a pot, um, you know, who do you take out? I definitely, definitely take uh, pot over William Carvalho. <laughs> every day of the week. Oh, I mean, I don't God. know why we need Danilo, Palhinha, Neves, and William Carvalho. I don't know why you need... I know Neves is not as, as much of a trink as those three, but he'll faz o papel if, it, if, it's, if it's required. But I mean, I don't know why you need four players with a defensive-minded midfield mentality but, like but, i i don't understand why you need that many guys in that lineup and man those who know portuguese soccer they know danilo and william are pretty much identical other than uh danilo could play center back 100%. but they're literally like the spitting image of each other they're the same player uh it's it's william is is about three notches slower than danilo if that's even fucking possible <laughs> um and it's just like man, it's oh. it's painful to watch this guy play. I I just don't understand how they leave a guy like Pot, who is so versatile. He can play in the center of the park. He can play on the wing. He can play as a false nine. I mean, he's such a versatile player. He's such a skilled player. He puts the ball in the back of the net for Sporting on a regular basis. And assists. And I mean, oh. he's such a complete player. I don't understand how. He leaves a guy like Pot off and brings a guy like William Cotto. I, I really Man, just don't understand. This it. guy, I'm only emphasizing this just because of the slap in the face that just happened. But this guy was top goal scorer on a team that won the league two years back. Uh, last year, on and off season, still uh, put up crazy numbers. This year, on fire. Hasn't played one game for the national team. One. Came for the national team. It's a slap in the face. So Sally Nasio has been called up one time. He ended up being hurt. Never started, played for the national team. That's the, I'm not saying they have to start. I'm not saying he should be solidified. But not to get called up 
It is a slap in the face. I think, honestly, um, and there could be guys out there saying, no, 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 that's not the case. For me, we all know Fernand Sanch used to coach Porto. Okay? I think, personally, when your president, Dr. Varandas there, goes on an all-out attack against Pinta Costa, his 60 years of, of uh, you know, Beast. you know, all, all the stuff he said, he's come out very publicly and, and attacked Pinta Costa. I think potentially this could be a very, very strong message that this lesson or at least for Nansanch is sending to the sporting president saying, you know what, buddy, you want to go out and, Badmouth, the president who's done so many amazing things for Porto all those years, your players aren't going to get picked. I could be completely off, and you alluded to it too, because both of us talked about this. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Because, you know, we can sit here and talk about how much Fernand Sanch, we don't agree with his decisions a lot of the time. But at the end of the day, like, I, you can't sit there and tell me that. A guy like William deserves to be there over uh, Peter Gonçalves. You can't sit there and tell me that fucking Gonçalo or Tiago Diallo deserves to be there over Gonçalo Inácio. Like, you can't tell me that, man. 